Just about every vehicle on the road today has some sort of differential fitted inside its drive axle. As you go around corners, the inside wheel always spins slower than the outside. That's because it has a shorter path to take. Now, if the two wheels were solidly connected together, the inside would skid around, which leads to accelerated tire wear and unpredictable handling, something that you definitely don't want to deal with every single day. So a differential is installed to allow a split in speed between the two wheels. Now, gearheads, we typically like maximum traction at all times. And the problem is a lot of vehicles come from the factory with an open differential as standard equipment. Inside the carrier, there are four spider gears that act to send power between the two wheels. And as you go around corners, the spider gears will be constantly turning, allowing for that difference of speed between the two wheels. An open differential is great for a commuter car in good weather, but they are less than ideal in low traction situations. You could have one wheel on glare ice and the other on dry pavement. And guess what? You're not going anywhere because the wheel on ice will just be spinning and the wheel on pavement is not going to be doing a thing. So the solution is to install some sort of a limited slip differential inside your axle. This will help better distribute the power between the two sides. Now there are a whole bunch of different types. And I'm going to show you some of the most popular. This is a clutch type limited slip that you'd mostly find in American muscle cars from the 60s and 70s, as well as a lot of other rear wheel drive cars. Now, depending on the manufacturer that it came from, they have a lot of different trade names like PosiTrack, SureGrip, or Traction Lock, but they all work in exactly the same way. Behind each spider gear is a series of clutch packs, and in the center, there are some springs that push out against the clutches. The clutches will slip just enough to allow some difference in speed while you're cornering. But if you ever get stuck and you have a limited slip, then both wheels will be spinning. So you can definitely tell the advantage of having one of these in your axle. Now, if you have a full-size GM truck that's labeled as having a locking differential, then this is what it has, the Eaton G80. Now, it's called a locker, but it's really not the same as a traditional locker, which we'll talk about later on. This is actually much more similar to a clutch style limited slip, and here's how it works. Under normal driving condition, it acts just like an open differential. As power is applied and wheel slip increases, these little counterweights actually flip out. They engage a wave plate, which compresses the clutch packs, very similar to the springs in the other limited slip. There are many types of limited slips out there, and we haven't even begun to talk about lockers or spools. But no matter how you use your vehicle, there's a differential out there that'll meet your needs.